AMD's second-generation Ryzen processors are right around the corner, and thanks to CES, AMD is ready to reveal the first details of their upcoming CPUs. So stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMeld. Here it is, the Ryzen 2000 series, AMD's second-generation Ryzen CPUs. Okay. I've got good news and I've got bad news. The bad news is that the recent report I did on its launch month was wrong. No, the Ryzen 2000 series won't be launching in March, unfortunately. Don't worry though, you'll have to wait much longer. Instead, AMD's upcoming processors are officially launching in April, just three months from now, and with it come some exciting things to look forward to. For one, the new CPUs will officially be manufactured with the Global Foundry's newest 12 nanometer FinFET design. This is something nearly guaranteed after an interview with one of AMD's executives a little while back, but it's now completely official. With the use of a smaller transistor size, AMD is able to produce a more efficient CPU. They're promising higher clocks and an overall 10 plus percent performance from 14 to 12 nanometers. The last detail specifically mentioned with regards to the CPU is their Precision Boost 2 and Extended Frequency Range 2 technology. They don't give very much details, but it basically boils down to what you'd expect. Higher clocks and better control over the CPU. This actually brings me to their new X470 chipsets launching alongside the Ryzen 2000 series chips in April. I bet these updated features like Precision Boost 2 and XFR2 will be X470 motherboard exclusive features, as they're more than likely hardware based features. But with that said, I saw a good bit of confusion coming from the comments in my last video when I went over the then-leaked X470 details. This is still part of the AM4 platform, everyone. No need to worry. I know it can be really confusing, but it's the same socket as AMD's first-generation Ryzen CPUs and current AM4 motherboards will work with the newest generation. They'll more than likely need a BIOS update, but that should be it. The reason AMD's board partners are releasing new boards is to support newer technologies that weren't available at the time or weren't on Ryzen's first generation CPUs, like new I.O., maybe more PCI Express lanes, possibly this new Precision Boost tech, etc. Really, we don't know what all comes with the Ryzen 2000 series, but just know that while you may not get all the features of the new CPUs, they will work in AMD's older boards. Next up for today, AMD is officially dropping their first generation Ryzen prices pretty much across the board, starting in April. Yeah, when their next gen hits, real and virtual shelves everywhere. We're talking some pretty great prices, with 1800X being $150 off at $349, the 1700X at $309, 1700 at $299, and the list goes on. What I'm going to do is actually put affiliate links down in the description, so when this sale goes live, you can just come back to this video and get whatever you want, while also helping out the channel. Speaking of the channel, don't forget to check out the GamerMail Discord server. It's a place where you can chat with other hardware enthusiasts and gamers about what you love. Have questions about an upcoming build or just want to socialize? It's right in the link, right, right there. You, you see it. <laughs> All right. So while that does it for today, what do you think of the news? Excited for AMD's second go at Ryzen? Or now that Intel is aggressively fighting back, will their next chips dwarf AMD? Let me know down in the comments below. And for continued CES coverage, make sure to subscribe to GamerMeld. I'm going to be working a ton to bring you videos over the course of the week. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.